Alright, Michimotsu playing Gambare Goemon 2. Since, unfortunately, the ROMs I have of Gambare Goemon don't work. But it's okay, this one's actually a much high improvement over the first one. And you can't press either the buttons or the start button or you'll skip past the storyline. And it's funny to watch the storyline if only because of these stupid expressions these guys make. Eh, uh, what the hell? There seems to be an issue with the... Never mind. Yeah. Uh, they're talking about Karakasa, which I'm not, I think that has something to do with a big kingdom, but these guys have dialects that I can hardly translate, because, uh, yeah, like he always ends up with Diskane, and, uh, they refer to each other with kind of more, uh, Osakan dialects, so ugh, it's tricky, like Goemon Han, and they end things with like Kai and Dai, so yeah, these, these are very much informal guys. So yeah, and one of them is apparently a ninja or something. But then again, neither of them are supposed to be ninjas. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> what the hell? He's just what the fuck is going on? They're, they're both just what the fuck is going on? I don't know why you're always glowing when you start. Pretty basic stuff. You have a life bar though. Just better than the first one. I think you just got hit um, once by those guys and you. Uh, well, I think if you got hit by your natural in your, in your uh, form without any of this stuff, and you just don't go in any of those jail cells. Are useless. You're just supposed because I think you're just breaking out of jail yourself. I'm guessing, which is why these guards with lanterns and shit are trying to kill you or hit you. This lets you throw money. Pew, pew, fuck them up. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, yeah. Let's see. What do you want to buy? I have to get some more money. I've beaten up these guys, so now I have enough to get this Onigiri, which is actually pointless at this point. Or is it, actually? I think it's actually, like, backup. In case you, uh, run out of lives. Or run out of health, rather. Pfft, not run out of lives, it makes no sense. Eh, okay. And apparently you can drop little fireworks when you get a second one. I real I, it took me a while to realize I can't get over there, I have to take the long way. But man, that stupid asshole can just jump right over him. It's terrible. But I don't need to go in there. I can't buy anything else. I can't skip over through that building, so I have to go a different route. Guy trying to poke me with a stick. Get one of these again. Drop my stupid little—they're like little snake firecrackers, I think. And you throwing coins at him. This is actually a pretty popular franchise in Japan, I think, but I'm not certain. Mostly because, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's popular in Japan that a lot of people have no idea, like Earthbound and uh, some other ones. Kind of Wild Arms, I'm not sure if Wild Arms is as popular in Japan, but it probably is. This purse throwing out money. Interesting always things in Goemon, if you touch a pretty lady, you uh, get points. In this case, you get money, which of course makes more sense because there's no the yeah they they got over the uh, point system within the first one. Thing in the first one was an arcade port um, from the arcades to the NES, so it makes sense that this one's gonna be a little adjusted and say nah fuck the points. We're just gonna have this guy collect money, buy stuff in shops, stuff like that. Another pretty lady, just not as pretty as the first one. But it's okay. We can still have sex with her and get money from her for some reason. I don't know how we get that. I have no idea what these are. I think... Uh, I have no fucking idea, but... I managed to buy one of them, apparently. Or bought two, I'm not sure. Somehow I lost my money eventually. Go back in. I push one button eventually. Yeah, there we go. I spent the money on... I have no freaking idea what I even spent it on. That's the problem. This game is only in Japanese, so... Well, I think no, I think they're saying uh, which room do you want to stay in, which is probably the explanation as to how. Well, if I'd stayed in the room, wouldn't I have like gotten health or something? But no, I didn't. This stupid flamboyant guy flipping around apparently. All right, I kind of stumbled across the, across the boss by accident because this can be a pain in the ass if you're not just constantly jumping up, up, jump, jump, just jumping up the. Giant pagoda. Uh, da, da, da. Don't 
doors opening up for, but nothing popping out. These guys jumping from God knows how freaking high. They're just jumping out of thin air. Blech. They're gonna rape you. Alright. Uh, these stupid dumbasses. I guess one of them's like a those samurai retainers. And this guy is offering you some more onigiri except for more money. Sumo guy, I'm guessing. Now this is where you fight the boss. Although he's terribly easy. Guy in a uh, robotic sumo robot, obviously. A, su a sumo robot. Anyway. He's terribly easy. I mean, the hit detection is a little vague. Not so sensitive. You can just get hit by being within a certain... You have to be really pretty close to him. Of course, you knock off his head and you still have to beat up the rest of the robot. Beat him up, beat him up, die, 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 die. Ah. Not hard at all. He, for some reason, he reminds me a lot of Daikun no Genzai, if only because they're both these rough, tumble guys who, you know, have a fuck you attitude, that sort of stuff. Like, nah, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Yeah, I'm going on, bitch. You don't fuck with me. Err. Now, this is. Uh, yeah, this shows a parallel. People aren't familiar with Goemon. Uh, Goemon is uh, pretty much the closest we can have to a Japanese Robin Hood. Except, uh, he wasn't as successful. And for, yeah, historically, he kind of uh, got burned in a p uh, pot of hot oil by uh, the successor to Nobunaga Oda, who was uh, quite possibly the greatest warlord in Japan's history. Or at least the most uh, ambitious one that ever lived. But then his successor, yeah, was smarter, as it were, and caught the uh, master thief Goemon, and I'm dead. But it's okay. But he caught this master thief Goemon, and yeah. Enough of my uh, historical background. Uh, you don't want to see too much more of this blank space. So this is the end of the no play. See you later.